don't know me, I'm Sarah Baskin from Far Out Toys. And we're here at Sweet Sweet uh, today uh, talking about powerful girls at play. As many of you are aware, we are emerging with some brand new girls focused brands this fall and in spring 2021. And we've also uh, been working with a very powerful female at play, Natalie Decker, to help spread awareness of our NASCAR line, um, which is really equally as popular with girls as it is for boys. But I wanna go ahead and welcome Natalie Decker into the call. Can you make yourself a uh, scene? There she goes. <laughs> Thank you, Natalie, for joining us. I want to congratulate you on a great finish at Daytona this year. You were wearing the Crash Racers uh, fire suit like you are today, and you had the best finish ever for a female truck driver in NASCAR. How did that feel? That was just one of the best days ever. It was so fun. My whole family was there. The sponsors were there. Um, and we were running that race. And we were kind of like mid-pack, mid-backpack, running the whole race. We had a really good strategy. And we did not expect to come out with the best finishing female, like making history. And I, I had no idea that was going to happen that day. But for that to happen, it was just so amazing. And yeah, I was wearing this race suit. I'm wearing it again today. So it was so fun. <laughs> it looks great. Well, um, for those who aren't familiar with uh, the product, um, the Crash Racers, this is a, a big item that we launched at Walmart last year called Adventure Force Crash Racers Figure 8 Circuit Track, where you can race, wreck, and rebuild on an officially branded NASCAR set. Natalie. Um, I'm, I'm curious, what were your favorite toys growing up? Well, I was definitely loving anything with racing and cars, but I also really loved playing with like dolls and like types of Barbies and like things like that. So I was like all over the place with toys. And now with this Crash Racers, when we were at Daytona, it was so fun when I was there playing with all those kids and it just brought so many memories back that I had as a kid. And I totally wish I had this game when I was a kid, but I'm so glad it's here now because my boyfriend and I here at home play it all the time and we're in our 20s. <laughs> and yeah, so I was totally all over the place between like playing with baby dolls and house and things like that to racing cars. <laughs> You have such a need for speed. Um, I know that not only are you fast on the track, but recently you did a fly along in a jet fighter plane. Where do you get this need for that adrenaline rush? You know, everyone loves asking that question because they're always so interested on like, you know, where do you get it from and why do you have the need for speed? And I really believe I get it from my dad's side of the family. My grandma and grandpa both raced, my dad raced, and all his brothers, so I really believe it's, it's just in my blood. <laughs> and you, do you ever get scared? I mean, what, how do you handle, um, I don't know, just, the, just the, the high risk and the adrenaline that comes with these activities? Do you ever find yourself getting overwhelmed? I never really gotten scared. I've, I've gotten nervous before a race, probably before every race, I get a little nervous and excited. So I got all those different feelings, but never have I really been scared. Like you said, we, I did that um, fly along with in the fighter jet and that was so fun. I was never even scared once doing that as they're training me to like, okay, if the plane goes down, this is how you pull the shoot and do all this stuff and I was never scared once. I was just so excited to get in and do it and, and have fun. So here's a question that's actually very pertinent to us working in the toy industry. You know, we, just like you, we work in a very competitive, fast paced, um, very fierce environment sometimes from a business perspective. Um, but sometimes it can be hard to remember that, hey, we are working in toys, we're, we're, we have really fun jobs. Um, and it does take work to maintain that balance of, hey, we're having fun while also working very hard. How do you balance having fun within your very fierce sport? I love this. I love this because it's so important to have balance. And, you know, it is a job, but I love it. 
and that's why I'm doing it. And I've loved it since I was a little girl starting in racing go-karts. I never looked at it as a job, but it's so competitive. It's very, you know, fierce and, and so many things that you do have to remember that why, why did I start doing this? Like when you're having bad days or hard days, you know, like, why did I start doing this? And, and it is because you love it and it's just fun and you make so many memories and everyone that you meet becomes part of your family. And that's one of the best things about being in the sport. Um, any words of advice for girls who want to make a difference in the world? Yes, believe in yourself and have a good support system behind you. So when you're having rough days, they can help pick you up and you can keep inspiring others to do what they love. Wonderful. And with that, we will sign off. Thank you to everyone for joining and have a great rest of your day at Sweet Sweet.